hello viewers peace be upon you and welcome to another video today in this video i will show you how to calculate spi and the easiest way to calculate it so for this you have uh, you need a tool here you can see the ospi sl6.exe this is the spi calculating tool uh, here you can see the standardized precipitation index calculator you have to download it from the uh, website i will uh, show you how uh, from where you can download it okay and then uh, here you you can see uh, this column is for year and this column for months january to december and this column is for precipitation okay this uh, this column for year months and precipitation uh, if you want to calculate spi then you need uh, you need these three column year month and precipitation okay now i am now i have to copy it and then text document and then paste okay i am uh, taking data from uh, 1961 to 2018 okay okay this uh, this is these are the data and uh, now i am saving it I want to rename uh, these are the data of Kumila station so I want to write only CO okay Kumila dot txt and then I am opening it uh, the, here you can see the number of time series okay how many uh, time scales do you want to calculate uh, SPI like uh, 3 months, 6 months, 12 months, uh, 18 months, 24 months, uh, anything. Uh, I want to calculate for uh, uh, 3 uh, three time scales. Okay, I, uh, I insert here 3 time scale 1 for 3 months, time scale 2 for 6 months, and time scale 3. Uh, for 12 months if you uh, want to calculate for more time scales then you uh, you have to insert here 4 then you will uh, then you will have another option here time scale uh, 4 then you uh, have you will have to insert here uh, time scale 24 okay uh, as I inserted here time scale 3 so uh, there are three options here for me to insert time scale okay now press enter then you will see a uh, you will see here input file here you can see the input input file uh, co.txt so i am writing here co.txt okay then enter output file uh, what is what will be the name of the output file you can uh, write anything you want i want c o r that means uh, gumilla result okay dot t x t now press enter uh, here you uh, you can see a file c o r dot t x t uh, that means i have already calculated the s p i values okay uh, let me open okay uh, here you can see uh, these are the years these are the years 1961 1962 63 these are the year and uh, these are the months here you can see the months started uh, from 3 why because uh, i have inserted the time scale 3 that's why uh, it started from 3 if I uh, 
inserted the time scale uh, from 1 then uh, my values are uh, started from 1 okay uh, then you can see another column these are the time is uh, time scale for three months SPI and these are the values for uh, six months and these are the values for 12 months here you can see these values 9999 minus 99 uh, here uh, our second time scale was six months that's why uh, previous values uh, previous values uh, will be ignored okay from six months it will start and uh, for 12 months uh, this one this one previous uh, datas uh, datas are invalid okay uh, such, uh, in this way you can calculate the SPI SPI very easily and uh, it's very easy you can calculate easily the SPI values so thank you for watching this video and we will meet in another video so till then thank you